South Korea and countries around the world pledged to ensure the upcoming global games are a peaceful celebration of sports. Given the heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula, the so-called Olympic truce comes at a highly significant time. Lee Ji-won has the highlights from an important event held less than three months before the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. The UN General Assembly has adopted a resolution calling for the peaceful hosting of the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in South Korea. Adopted by consensus on Monday, the resolution, building a peaceful and better world through sport and the Olympic ideal, urges countries to ensure the safe passage, access and participation of athletes, officials and all other accredited persons taking part in the Olympic Winter Games and Paralympic Winter Games. Taking this opportunity, I would like to assure you once again that we, the organizing committee, together with the Korean government, are committed to ensuring a safe and peaceful Olympic Games. The Olympic truce, respected from seven days before the starting of the Olympic Games on February 9, 2018, and until seven days after the Paralympic Games end in mid-March, also seeks to cease all conflicts during the sporting event. It also urges countries to take the opportunity to foster and encourage concrete actions that promote dialogue and reconciliation. I firmly believe the Pyeongchang 2018 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games will help spread the message of peace through one of the few languages that has the power to unite people around the world, the graceful and universal language of sport. Though the Olympic truce has been adopted every two years ahead of the Summer and Winter Olympics since the early 1990s, this resolution comes at a significant time given the heightened tensions on the Korean Peninsula over North Korea's continued nuclear and missile provocations. And with all 193 UN member states, including North Korea, approving the resolution, Yi Hee-bum, head of the organizing committee for the Pyeongchang Games, said that he hoped it'll lead to a chain reaction for the promotion of peace within the region and beyond, as the first of three consecutive Olympic Games to be held in Northeast Asia. The South Korean delegation, which includes Seoul's Minister of Culture, Sports and Tourism Do jong hwan and figure skating gold medalist Kim Yana, will join a number of promotional activities in New York for the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics through Tuesday. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.